Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 158, I think. <laughs> I got me some notes written here. I'm sitting on my footstool. Let's get over a little bit. I got some finished objects to share with you guys today and uh, some progress on my whip of my moving stitch blanket I'm excited about. So I'm gonna go through my list and uh, share it with you guys. So first we'll get the boring stuff out of the way, just the solid squares. <laughs> I did make eight more green squares for my Christmas blanket that I'm working on. So now I have all the red and green squares I need for it done. So these are just made with Red Heart um, Patty Green. And uh, so there's eight of them there. And then I also made two <laughs> of the Aaron colors. I still need to make 10 more of this color of the squares and then I can start working on the last appliques. There are 16 of those I gotta make. Gingerbread men, elves, wreaths, and Christmas lights. I think that's it. Four of each of those. Uh, and so I'm on to the Aaron squares and then start putting the blanket together. So I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> but that is a, f a free pattern by Maria's Blue Crown. I've been working on it for months. <laughs> I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Uh, you can also purchase the PDF if you want it all together because it's split up into weeks because it was originally a crochet along. But yeah, so getting there, getting progress on it. <laughs> all right, next is my Grinch little uh, guys. If you watch all my videos, you would have seen these a lot already, <laughs> but I haven't shown them in a No Kitchen Name episode yet. So I made one and then I ended up making two more, uh, one for my sister and one for someone else. And those two have already went to their homes. So here's mine that I made. He's been in all my Vlogmases since I made him. He's always over there by my countdown calendar. But this is a free pattern as well by Little Crochet Farm. And mine's bigger than the actual pattern because the actual pattern is written with a DK weight yarn and a smaller hook. I used worsted weight yarn and an H hook, I believe, or G. One of those. <laughs> because I like uh, bigger amigurumis. It's easier for me to work on. And I just, I think it's cute big. But he was pretty simple. I embroidered his face. A lot of people have been making them. If you check out the Facebook group, the No Kitchen Facebook group, um, there's a lot of people that's been posting them on there and it's so cute to see all everybody's different little Grinches. But uh, I really loved making this pattern. She's also got a Santa, an elf, and a reindeer that is the same little body shape, except it's their heads are not <laughs> Grinch-shaped heads. But um, they're super cute and they work out really fast and there's no sewing, at least on the Grinch. I don't know about the other ones, I haven't made them. But uh, all the parts are crocheted on, so it's nice and easy. There they are. There he is. There was three of them though, so there's three technically that I made, but I only have one to share today. But if you want to see the other two, they're in past vlogmases. <laughs> but uh, I love that pattern. Probably end up making more in the future for gifts. But yeah, so it's a free pattern. Check it out. It's awesome. Okay, next I made a hat. I made this with the yarn that I got. There's your tail stuck to it. <laughs> um, at the Black Friday sale, I got it on Saturday, but it was still a sale at Joann's and it's Red Heart um, stripes, retro strap. And I love this yarn and I've always wanted to buy some so I bought some finally and I made this hat. <laughs> this is called the Simple Seed Stitch Hat. I've made a few of them lately because I like the pattern. It's by uh, Kristen Holloway and I like it a lot. It's really pretty. But I, I didn't weave in my ends because I feel like it's a little big on me. Like I made it, I guess it could be a little slouchy. I don't know, but I like it. I like the colors and I want to make it like a matching uh, cowl, but there it is on my head. <laughs> I really like the colors of this yarn. I've been wanting to try some forever and I got a few more skeins of it. I think I got, I can't remember. Did I get two? I can't remember. <laughs> it's in there, but I want to make an amigurumi out of it as well. So this took about half of the first skein. So I do have another floppy skein of it. <laughs> Plus a hopeful one. I believe there's two. I can't remember exactly. But it's pretty cute and I like this pattern a lot. It's really pretty. Uh, it, it just gives it good texture. It's got these little, like uh, ribbed bits that are um, <clears throat> third lip only. It's what gives it that texture and it just it's really pretty. I like it. It's pretty. Okay. So next is my gnome from Crystal. She asked me to test this pattern and it is released now. Uh, I already I, I announced a video about that today too. But um, it's called Sir Guards a Lot, and it's her gnome pattern. There's mine. He's pretty big. <laughs> uh, he works out pretty easy. I liked working on him a lot. The worst part for me was the beard, but it's just because I hate making stuff like this. <laughs> I hate uh, making like stringy things, 
and loop stitches. Those are like the two things I hate doing. <laughs> but he still turned out super cute, I think. He's a little blown out. But I haven't been saying, I didn't say the Grinch color so well. But his hat is made out of I Love This Yard uh, Christmas. It's got metallic in it. It's pretty. And the white is all red heart white. The red is red heart cherry red. The skin color is um, I Love This Yard Light Peach. And then I did make the brim of his hat. You can't see it because the lot's so bright. But it's uh, it's pipsqueak held together with a scrap of a DK weight yarn. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Um, to, get, to give it more like substance and that was a pain in the butt but it looks cute <laughs> but there's my gnome he's so stinky cute he works out pretty quick I think the hat's a little tricky if you're not good at shaping because it does have shaping right here to give it like the curve but um, I think it'd be good for someone who's done amigurumis before and uh, yeah because there is shaping there shaping can get confusing if you if you're not done it a few times but she explains it really well in her pattern and uh, yeah, but so this is a paid for pattern, but I will link it below in her Etsy shop if you want to check it out. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see it, to get it. People have already told me that they have their yarn picked out and everything. And you don't have to do Christmas colors. I just did Christmas colors because it's Christmas time. You can do any colors you want. <laughs> and I think he's cute. He'd even be cute if you put some of those like um, bead things in there so he, he is more sturdier setting up. Mine does set up by itself though. It's sitting on my hand right now. <laughs> and, um, you know, he'd be like a cute little decoration <laughs> to set around but I think he's cute look at him he's cute <laughs> all right that was a big amigurumi it took a little while to make um I made him in two days but I focused on it a lot because I was trying to get done for her all right so next is my movie and stitch squares I'm burning up <laughs> my hormones or something so I finished <clears throat> wxyz squares you guys have seen wx and y you haven't seen the z square because I haven't made a video about it yet but I will try to show them I'm already in the process of piecing my blanket together. So let me look on it real quick. Okay, W was Wreck-It Ralph, which is this cherry one. And this is the same pattern that I've been using for uh, my moving stitch squares, which is a simple says it best square. I'll link it below. It's a free Ravelry download. The cherries is an applique pattern by dang it but it's the actual bad word <laughs> janet let's crochet and it's a free it's just called cherry pattern or cherry applique so that was my w square my x was for x-men super simple and basic i didn't do anything fancy i just made an x where's my y my y was yes man and i made a camera <laughs> same square pattern and then i just used uh scrap yarn to make this camera i didn't use the pattern i just uh came up with it and then my Z square was for Zootopia. And for it, I wanted to do something that involved the sloth in the movie because that was my favorite part, the DM DMV scene with the sloth. I think his name is Flash, but he's like super slow because he's a sloth. But I couldn't think of anything um, or find anything that would represent that. So my next favorite part is when they're buying big like elephant size popsicles and melting them down to make little popsicles and then they're selling them to all those little hamsters. And it's just so cute. So I made the popsicle. <laughs> And it's a paw print. The paw print is a free pattern. It's actually written in two parts. The background part is a video tutorial, and then the, the pads of the feet is a written tutorial, which I thought was kind of weird that it was separated instead of all together. But anyways, it's a free pattern by um, Mary J. Handmade, and it is a, like I said, it's, it's called Super Cute and Easy Paw, but the background of the paw is made in a video tutorial. And then the pads are in written form which is kind of weird but you know whatever and i just made a little stick there to look like a popsicle i thought it turned out cute it turned out a little bit bigger than i meant to me to for it to be but i just kind of use an h hook instead of like an elf hook uh that i normally use i was just trying to get it done but it's cute and then as you can see i am working on putting my blanket together it's almost put together it's getting there <laughs> I'll, just, I'll talk about that more in a video just for that um once i get it to put together and then i'm going to be um backing it with some fleece or flannel whichever I decide to buy at the time someone asked me because Mimi Stitch was based on alphabet so there's 26 squares so there's an un, uh, even amount of squares to make a like a you know a blanket of a certain size does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense but so I did end up needing to make uh, four blank squares so I just made two green ones and two orange ones over here to put at the bottom and what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna either top stitch or like embroider, I'm gonna put moving stitch on one side and I'm gonna put 2021 on the other side. 
I think is what I'm going to do. So that, you know, I know in the future that that's what this was for and when I made it and all that. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm actually really loving the way it's coming out. So I can't wait to share it with you guys like fully when I get to that point. <laughs> I'm just not to that point just yet. But yes, yeah, so that is all of my finished objects and my one whip. I am working on the Christmas blanket too. But right now I'm really focusing on this blanket to get it done. At least to the point where it needs to be lined. Because, oops, I just knocked a level <laughs> logo on the floor. Um... I don't know when I get around to lining it. Hopefully soon, but it really depends on when, whenever we go to the town that Joanne's is in. Because my Joanne, the closest Joanne's to me is like almost an hour away. So we don't go there often. <laughs> but uh, I'll go there eventually and buy some for that and the Christmas blanket. Because I'm going to line it as well. So once I get this done to the point where it needs to be lined, I'm going to start focusing on the Christmas blanket hardcore and try to get it to the lining part as well. And uh, hopefully get these two blankets done before the baby's born. <laughs> that's like my plan. But um, we shall see, I guess. <laughs> but that's everything I've been working on lately. I haven't been working on a whole lot the last week or so just because I've been tired and busy. <laughs> but uh, I've been focusing on this blanket the most. And then I did make that gnome really quickly because uh, she was wanting it tested before it was released so I was trying to get that done quick. I made the Grinches last week and the hat last week. I actually had the hat done the last episode I just didn't show it because uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or not because it is a little big and I was, I was thinking about um, frogging it and doing a different pattern but I really like the way that pattern looks so uh, I guess I'm gonna keep it I don't know I still haven't made up my mind that's why I haven't woven in the ends yet uh, I'll make up my mind eventually I also did finish a bunch of uh, ornaments but I didn't want to pick them off the tree um, I showed them and there's two videos uh, one's called just I made ornaments and one's made I called I made more ornaments and like it was this curly cue and this little snowman uh this candy ribbon there's also well there's a Christmas pudding and some other ones I can't remember <laughs> but um I just didn't want to pick them back off the tree but those are linked in those videos if you're interested in those and I actually do have some more ornaments I'm going to be sharing in a day or two with you guys uh, as well, but they're going to be uh, smaller ornaments that are quicker to finish since it's getting close to Christmas but Yeah, so I, I guess that's everything so I'm gonna hop off here and get this video up for you guys And I'll see you hopefully in a week or so with some more finished objects. Maybe it might just be this blanket <laughs> who knows because um, I, I Want to really focus on these blankets and get them done before the baby comes and then then I can crochet other things But I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys